Hi everyone. So whenever we are creating any website in Laravel or maybe in some other technology, so there are very high chances that we have to use CSS and JS. So that's why we are learn there how we can use CSS and JavaScript with the Laravel. So first we will create a CSS and JS file. Then we'll write some code inside these files. After that, we'll see how we can import and use these two files in a single view. And after that, we'll see how we can use them with the layout file also. We'll also check how how to write internal CSS and uh, JavaScript, and we'll see how we can use asset methods for CSS and JS. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials, and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project, and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So first, let's create CSS and JS file. So where we have to create them? So whenever uh, you will open your Laravel application on the root, you will find a public folder. So inside this, you can create any folder. Maybe for CSS, you can create a CSS folder if uh, this is not existing. So in my case, this is already exist. So I'll just write a file inside this, and file name will be style.css. And uh, let's create one more folder for uh, JavaScript. And the folder name is let's say JS. And inside this, we'll create another file, and uh, the file name will be let's say custom dot JS, right? So JS will write after some moment, but let's focus on the CSS first. So I'll just create a class with the name of heading, and uh, the there we have the color red. So if we will apply this heading class to any tag, then that color should be red for that uh, element. All right. So how we can import it? So for that, uh, what I'll do, we'll go to the, uh, you can say that in our resources, then views, and there I'm creating one more folder with the name of ad, not folder file with the name of admin dot blade dot php. And now let's put there a simple HTML tags, and uh, we can put title maybe admin page or something. And then let's write h1 tag, admin page. After that, let's say write uh, some simple tag also. Let's say dummy admin content or something. Right. And now we have to create a view for this. So let's go for the web.php and just write route colon colon view admin and then admin right so after that what we'll do there if i just want to access this admin page so let me try like this here you can see that we got the text there so now the thing is how we can apply this css let me open this file this css on this admin page for that we have to import it through the link right so you just need to do one thing just write the link tag then rel and there you have to mention style sheet then href and for the href there we will see css and uh, style dot css file Right, so this is the path, and then we can close this tag. After that, you have to use this class with the any element, right? So there, uh, let me put this class to the h1 tag, like this, and uh, then we'll refresh it, and we'll see this is the admin page, and color is a change there, right? So this is the way that how we can use. Uh, the style with a single page and now you can see that with the let me refresh it once right uh, so there is no color right now so uh, with the home page and this login page we are using the common header footer with the layout so how we can use this style with the layout so you don't need to do anything just copy it and simply paste it with the layout.blade.php either so let's say if you want to apply this style on the login page then you can directly import it to the login page also but better if we can import it in the layout page because layout will automatically load this style to the login page as well as to the home page right because this is a common page there so let's do that and now if we will just use this class with any of the tag which is inherit which is inheriting this layout uh, 
so they will be uh, the red in the case right so right now there you can see that this is inherited by the home.blade.php so this is working after that this is a login and if i just change this class then you will see with a login this is also red and there the home page heading is also red perfect so the next thing that we want to do is how we can use the css so let's say you want to change the css on the click of login to this red to the and maybe from this black to the green color right to red to the green color how we can do that for that let's go to the js file which is custom.js and create a function and function name is let's say let me create a function make green right and now what we can do document dot get element by id and the id should be let's say green the uh, the id should be uh, you can say that um, heading only right then style dot color equal to green like this right so the this class we have to apply on the uh, this is not a class actually this is the id we have to apply on the h1 tag so let me apply this id there right and we'll call this function uh, let me okay so we'll call this function on the click of login button so let me define their on click event on click this function yeah so to before to use it we have to import this uh, js also so again we can um, import it in the layout file so simply put there script yeah so after that let's put here r e l and uh, there uh, what we can do there uh, okay so uh, we don't need to put there red we can directly put this src and in the src what we need to do there we, you have to put the folder name which is js and then file name which is custom.js so now it should be work and if you want to check check like this should work fine or not you can just go to the view page resource and you will find css is display there and uh, js is displaying there and css is also display there so if i just refresh and click on this button you can see that this is getting change in the green color so yeah so maybe if you want to use the internal style then how you uh, internal script or js how you can do that simply you can just create a script tag there close it and inside this we can uh, let's go to the this function copy this function paste it inside the style and there let's write there make blue and the color should be also blue there and this blue function we have to call it maybe we can create one more button there and then we can write there make blue or something yeah and now if i refresh it and click on the blue you can see that the color is changing in the blue so that's all for this part if you still have any doubt any confusion you can ask me in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section thank you so much guys